So hi everyone, it's Teen and Phenomenal Beauty. So first off, I'd like to thank everyone for sort of requesting different reviews and videos on the Bath and Body Works stuff, particularly for requesting one on the actual candles. So these are all the candles I've gotten so far from Bath and Body Works and I buy them from bathbodyandhome.com. I'll put a link down below. That's a distributor that we have in Australia to get them from finally. I'll, um, I'll list all the candles down in order that I'm showing them just in case you'd like to skip forward to see a particular uh, fragrance. Um, but for me, I have never really been big into candles, but this last couple of months, getting into these ones, I've just totally enjoyed it. So I've been moving them downstairs, upstairs, early in the morning when I get up, um, and you know, at night to just to sort of relax everyone. And it's been good because I haven't had my husband or my um, son sort of be irritated by any of the fragrances, you know, all the scents um, coming off. Um, and I do have a couple of different sizes. Um, I've got the three wick um, jars, glass jars, which are $25.95, $24.95. Then there's the mason size, which is the glass with um, the screw top, and they are $15.95, I believe. And then the small size, or you now what is it called? It's actually called the mini candles. They're out small, but these are the mini sizes, and they are $4.95 Australian. Okay, enough of the introduction. Let's get down to the stuff. I have to say, and it hasn't changed, this did the first haul from Bath uh, Body on Her at Home, and I'll link all those videos down below, is Island Margarita. Island Margarita has been my favorite fragrance, I have to admit. I've only gotten this in the the candles and the little hand sanitizers so far because I couldn't get any of the other sort of like the lotions or anything in stock that may have changed um, if I do any other sort of hauls since this video goes up I'll link those down below but this is the mason um, jar as I said size and it is six ounces or 170 grams 30 to 40 hours you know approximately burns. I haven't actually burnt this one yet, it's brand new. I'm saving this one because I've been burning the three wick candle, which is behind me. I'll put a photo up here. Um, and I've, I, honestly, I've been trying to save them to make them last as long as possible. I have honestly enjoyed this one. It is, it smells like, it's like a lime. It's obviously that citrusy lime type scent, but it's actually quite sweet. And it does smell like the margarita mix that you get, um, that, you know, that really almost sickly sweet. Oh, but it, it gave, to me, it gives a great throw. Like I can start burning it um, in the bedroom. And then even after maybe half an hour, it sort of fills the room. They're not that big, but it'll fill the room and sort of go out into the hall. And over the hour, it'll go down sort of the stairs and sort of start to um, scent um, downstairs as well. But it gives a lovely throw. I love the light. What I'll do is I might have already done it at the beginning or I'll put it at the end. I actually filmed what some of the candles look like burning, you know, with the lights off. So what kind of light they give off. It's sort of like a yellowy white light. Um, obviously some of them are colored. This is a colored candle, as you can see. Um, the three wick, the uh, mason, um, and the mini candle all have the green sort of color. Um, but yes, burn well. Um, I haven't found any of them really sort of, you know, burn um, smokily, like sort of, um, or you know, give give off a you know a bad sort of scent or a smoky sort of scent as it's burning. Like there's nothing wrong with the wick in that. I've had trouble of the because I'm a newbie to using candles. If that makes sense. To keeping the wick trimmed properly um, and making sure that they burn evenly, like they're on an even surface. Um, and then, but I have sort of made the mistake as where I've gone to pick it up when it's just finished burning and obviously it's still um, melted. It sort of tips over and goes everywhere. There's a good example like that. Um, I'm one of those messy users of candles, so I'm slowly learning to take better care of them so I can get the most or the maximum sort of burn time uh, out of them as well. And burn cleanly, keep them clean. But that is definitely my, my favorite, favorite one on the Margarita. My next favorite one is actually a new one I didn't show in a haul because it's the only thing that I picked up. I guess it would you would call it my, my fifth haul. It's not really officially a haul. My fifth order, I guess, from Bath Body and Home, and I grabbed this one. It's the Ice Cream Shop. And I, look, I've, I've burnt this baby like mad. I have just gone absolutely mad with it. But yeah, same thing, I'm just messy because my son gets too excited about the candles. So I'm like grabbing it to put it away sort of quickly. I don't want him to obviously get me any of the hot wax or the flame, etc. And I'm um, yet yeah, sort of 
but this this is the strongest out of all of my candles that I have it's the strongest smelling without it having been burned like when I first got the box I could smell it open the lid and it just whoa it smells like really super sweet vanilla ice cream my description here and it does say creamy vanilla rich toffee and sweet almond blossom with a cherry on top <laughs> like a perfect vanilla ice cream it is very vanilla -y, that really sickly sweet sugary vanilla toffee if, if that makes sense that's what it really really smells like and even just in the first maybe 10 minutes of starting to burn it you know when it just starts to sort of melt properly around you can get that beautiful scent coming from it I've been enjoying doing it downstairs sort of you know around the kitchen area I've got, I'm actually sitting at the, the bench in the kitchen so it's sort of just if I have it here burning it'll fill literally all this area behind me and downstairs just the lounge area in about you know 35 to 40 minutes just beautiful and it starts to go up the stairs that's what I love you like you can you'll go upstairs to do something and you can just smell the sweet vanilla upstairs but it's not like a proper not like a vanilla if you, you know put the, the um, oh gosh the twist in like milk and you're sort of doing it on the stove it's not quite like that this is really really sweet like and this is one I can taste I can really taste that sweet. there's no other way to describe this one but it's very beautiful I love it love it not one that I find to um, burn at night uh, what I mean is burn at night is you know before going to sleep or anything like that or early in the morning because it'll literally start to make me very thirsty or very sweet like craving sort of something sweet and that's not what I want early in the morning before I have a healthy breakfast or at night when I'm just going to bed but sort of during the day you know as I'm cooking as well or have that burning or um, or it, sort of in the afternoon as well it sort of gets you know makes you feel like you want dinner um, next one along those sort of I suppose food type ones is the espresso bar now this one I think I got uh, some of my very first sort of candles or three wick candles and yeah okay it's, it's a mess it's a mess but um, oh this is another really strong one but this how does it describe it um, uh, aroma of roasted espresso beans and sweet vanilla froth froth yeah to me it kind of smells it does smell like almost burnt almost burnt um ro roasting you know coffee beans because it's got a slight sort of bitterness to it it's very it's also quite sweet but to me it's almost like a chocolate coffee not like a mocha because I love mocha I love mocha pretty much anything it's got a slight bitterness to it that I can just pick up and then when I actually burn it and in maybe about 15 minutes it starts really spread around the room it's another quite a strong scent not particularly my favorite one um, out of them it's probably m medium favorite for the and I really would love to burn this sort of in the morning to get me going it's kind of like one of those scents that wake you up um, but, make, and they, but it does make me crave a coffee or um, a mock or anything that's what I prefer um, but nothing that I do at night it's sort of more of a one that sort of gets me going <laughs> type sort of scent or you know doing it as I'm sort of just about to start dinner or even sort of after dinner if we're going to have maybe something um, sweet afterwards or something or or you know your coffee or anything like that it's a nice one to burn but um, yeah I think you've got to be maybe a coffee lover or love that scent you know when they start to clean out the uh, the grinder or something or the beans it's a quite a strong slightly bitter bitter scent but still also quite a heavy heavy fragrance it's another one I'm just gonna randomly grab one this is one of my newer ones this is the pineapple palm grass and another colored one this is the obviously bright yellow one I've been quite messy burning this one's really nice it is actually it's a really sweet one and how does it describe it it is Tropical fragrance um, inspired by beautiful pineapple fields and exotic green foliage of the Hawaiian Islands. Well, I've never been there, but um, ooh, I was trying to think. This smells like any of those really sweet ice blocks. Um, to me, it smells like Fuji pineapple ice blocks. They're like, like you know, um, fruity fruity ice on a stick. I don't know what they're called in different countries. When I came to Australia, people were using, I think, the brand name Icy Pole, and I'm going Ice Blocks, and I was in Melbourne, and no one could understand what I was saying. Icy Poles, I'm going, and they're going Ice Blocks? Anyway, but very, very sweet, um, lolly-type sort of pineapple, um, but it's one of those ones that make your mouth water. So this makes me crave fruit juice or something sort of, you know, 
obviously tropical or fruit salad or something that's what it sort of and makes me sort of want so this is what i've been burning even early in the morning you know before breakfast so i want some fruit or something um and even at night it's just a really nice relaxing one around the bath but it's a beautiful scent um this one i'd say about 40 minutes even though it's only in the mini size candle to sort of really get going to sort of get that scent around obviously because it is small it is quite small the reason i love the mini candles though is it gives me an idea to what, what i want i think i'll get the mason size in this one and um probably once i finish all my island margarita candles i'll get the three wick again i just I, I just love this one um but but it sort of helps me think do i want to get this in a larger size that's why i like the the mini ones mini ones and i love like these ones have that beautiful sort of style in it some of them just have the plain tops i think it depends on the collection but um some of them are really pretty so you, i'd even leave the label on and i'd put you know jewelry or coins or anything on my vanity or you could obviously remove the label and do whatever you want with them so they're really really pretty um as well same with most of the ones that I've gotten in the three wick um, candles. They do have sort of the plain ones. And when I burn them, I like to sort of st stack them on that. So I don't I always lose lids to things. So that's sort of how I sort of have it. And I just check that it's actually sort of even and flat. And obviously where I'm burning it now that I'm getting to, <laughs> to be able to use them properly. Okay, let's just grab two of my other beautiful favorites that I'm actually inspired to get in larger size. That I'll be getting the three wick in both both of these. Now this shouldn't be a surprise if you've seen some of my favorite videos. This is the mahogany teak wood. I just love that gold top, that sort of brushed gold top. Gorgeous. This, I don't know, is that what people, when they call boyfriend scents? I don't know. It's it's a like a, a cologne type scent. It's, it's a relatively deep but very relaxing sort of one. This is nice even in the morning when I'm getting up. It's just sort of a nice sort of start to the day, but also at night, it's so relaxing. My husband even likes it too. It's like a spirit, it's relatively subtle, like smelling it, but when you sort of start to burn it, and I'd say about 20 minutes, half and it really fills the room. Beautiful, it's just beautiful. It's described as mahogany, cedarwood, and oak, highlighted by delicate lavender and geranium notes. Now my husband hates lavender, he hates lavender, but he can't pick anything up like he doesn't complain about the scent, so I, that's why I love it too. But it makes me think of like a nice cozy sort of night, you know, in front of the fireplace. Or, um, gosh, and which is great, obviously. It's winter now in Australia, but mm -hmm. I think around this would be just beautiful. So relaxing, gorgeous sort of scent, obviously with those notes. But to me, it's like a very mild um, man's cologne. Just beautiful. I love it. And the next one with that same sort of gorgeous top again these will be beautiful when you finish with them on the vanity is fresh balsam um, this one invigorating aroma of evergreen woods on a clear full morning crisp eucalyptus fir needles and cedarwood musk notes this is this honestly to me smells like pine i'm like out in the woods oh my god and it's very invigorating i love this in the morning it's like very refreshing like you literally will start to burn it in about 15 minutes i'm like just to me invigorating kind of like that espresso one but that's that's what i would call like your you know your food type sort of things or obviously your drinks this is gorgeous like it's quite a like a strong scent in in the jar and when you start to burn it like i said it's got a gorgeous throw i quite like this um and even burning it with mahogany teak but like you get a mix of fragrances i love that and even the bath i might have one up on the on the counter and one sort of near the bath obviously safely done but it just they sort of mingle and it's just so relaxing like i'm like okay i'm ready to go to sleep now as if that was going to happen because you know got to get dinner ready and the family <laughs> but it's beautiful it's really relaxing you almost feel like you're on holiday when you burn it but this one is, is so great i think at night as well my husband quite likes it but it is stronger i think than the mahogany teak wood um, and i also put some notes yeah, mahogany teak would I'd call it sort of quite warm. It's like an old spice um, one. And this one, pine needles, cones, it's sharp. And that's a damp, damp grass. It makes me think of damp grass and pine needles, but nice fresh, fresh scent. And this one, the fresh balsam, I, I think it's quite a cool scent. Um, like a lot of the other ones are quite warm. I don't, I don't know, I have this thing about describing things as warm or cool. I would call it quite cool and quite a crisp um, strong scent but I actually find it smells better 
burning it like it gives a beautiful throw fills the room nicely and it just even smells better burnt or burning should i say and most of the other ones i think um almost not better not burning like their pineapple palm because the pineapple palm grass although it's really really sweet when you smell it in the uh, cold in the in the jar it kind of smells a little bit I don't know, more mellow burning, if that makes sense. But this is just gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Um, another one um, is coconut leaves. I wasn't overwhelmed by this one. Um, what is it described as? Um, you know, it's, it's supposed to be like in the tropics with this fusion of juicy tangerine and papaya that gives way to soothing coconut notes. Um, it's, it's okay. It was one that it doesn't really have much of a strong scent um, cold. And then when burning, it's just a nice sort of mellow. So it says tangerine and what? Tangerine and papaya. I didn't really pick that up. I, I picked up something sort of a sweet, like a sweet, very mild coconut sort of scent, but nothing really that like made me want to repurchase it again. But it's just going to be a nice little one to sort of burn. Um, but I think this goes nice with that um, pineapple palm grass one or any of the other ones just to sort of burn sort of in the background and it can sort of mingle but it really took about 40 minutes to sort of start to fill up the room and give it a nice sort of scent but it's, but if you like something more gentle this might be sort of the one but as long as you like more sort of sweet slightly fruity mellow coconut sort of um, scent yeah sweet um, coconut another one I quite liked is the watermelon lemonade and that's the one with one of the pretty tops Thing. it's okay to me it smells like that's you know fake sweet watermelon scent or that fake sweet fruity scent that you get with some lollies or um what am i trying to say the chewy lollies or the hard lolly hard board lollies like the anything that's the slight watermelon or almost sweet fake strawberry scent um, or even erasers sometimes i would get fruity erasers at school um, rubbers and it's that sweet fake scent um, so nothing that's particularly great. It doesn't make me think of watermelon or lemonade really when I'm burning it, but it does make me think of those sweet fake <laughs> fragrances that you get. Um, and it smells pretty much the same as it does cold as it does sort of burning. The throw, I'd say 20 minutes, half an hour, and sort of really um, sort of notice it. It's much more mellow, um, similar to the coconut leaves and sort of mellowness. Um, yeah, but it's not one that I'd want to repurchase again. It's nice. It's pleasant. Now this one I just burnt a couple of times. It's called Bloom. Another one of the newer ones I've got with the little pretty tops. And this one, newest spring blooms, fresh floral blend of peonies, lily of the valley, and a hint of dewy pear. So I thought, oh, with a pear, I'd love it. It's it's quite nice. You get that nice hint of floral, like a floral bouquet when you smell it, and obviously the green. Uh, but uh, this is going to sound really mean. When you start to burn it, and I'm like, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, you get that slight sort of floral, um, sweet scent. And it made me think of, not toilet, what am I trying to say? Um, you know, this, a lot of the sprays or the, the floral sprays that you get um, that they put in public toilets or wherever, you know, that you spray. That's what it made me think of. And as soon as I had that thought in my head, I was like, you know, like someone's been to the toilet. That's what it made me think of, and it sounds really because it's a beautiful scent. If it, if you love flowers, florally sweet scents, you'll probably love this one. But to me, that's all that's stuck in my head. Um, and some, it kind of does have that bouquet. Okay, if you go into like a a florist shop, you know, and they've been cutting the flowers and arranging, and you can smell that nice, you know, nice pleasant floral scent. But to me, it just smells like that fake scent that you get in the toilet. Sorry, I'm so sorry. But yeah, I love the pretty top and stuff like that. So, but it'll probably take me a little while to sort of go through that one, or I could just put it in the toilet and you can burn it at your leisure. The next one is the pink petal tea cake, or another pretty one with a little top. Um, and this one, sorry, those other ones I just showed were more of a almost like a goldy um, color, whereas the other ones, the earlier ones that I had, are silver. So these had more of a what am I trying to say? The fruity ones had those little flower, floral sort of design with the silver, and these have that more wallpaper style, I don't know, something with the slight gold. Um, pink petal tea cake. This is actually quite a pleasant one. This is a nice one, one that I'd sort of burn downstairs or upstairs. 
morning or afternoon or evening. It's just a sweet sort of scent, almost like um, icing, you know, like pink frosting or not, like a raspberry frosting sort of scent. And um, it's tea for two becomes even sweeter with a fragrance of a pink petal tea cake made from, oh, that's it, sorry, garden rose petals, freshly baked cake and vanilla glaze. It smells like um, rose water or that, you know, you have put the rose drops when you're making um, icing on a cake or, the, or even in, in the cake, there's that rose water that you can get. That's what it makes me um, think of and it's a beautiful light scent. You probably have to like that. Some people I know just hate that scent for whatever reason, but it's really nice. And I'd say about half an hour and you get a beautiful smell around the kitchen. I love that, especially in the evening or even up in the bedrooms. It's a beautiful, sweet scent or having a bath. So this is one that I, I like. One of the last of the small ones, it's Garden Party. And again, it's got that sort of goldy tinted top. Now what does it say? Pink, pink garden roses and pear blossoms wrapped in soft musk. I thought, ooh, like the flowers or the floral with the musk would be nice. And it's actually quite a nice scent. It's, oh, God, I wish I could, it reminds me of something. But for the longest time, I just cannot think. It's a, it is a beautiful pear blossom musky scent. So if, uh, still kind of along the lights of bloom, um, but, 10 times better. It's like a more of a musky, deeper scent. That's more of your warm, this is more of a cooler scent. Oh, and I love it. This one is really nice. It's almost like an apple type scent. Some of the fake green apple scents that I've smelt over my over time, um, it kind of has that to me, even though it says pear, crisp green apple scent. I love uh, sour green apples. That's what I love to eat, to drink, love that. And it has that slight tartness to it. So whereas that bloom one was really, just sweet floral. This is a beautiful, slightly crisp, mm, sort of more a beautiful morning um, type scent. So if I were to sort of wake me up, so like in the morning, but also like that night too, because it's just that nice, slightly bitter coolness to it. So another one I, I quite like as well. Um, and another one of my favorites. Clean it up a little bit. It, yeah, I've been, it, this has been upstairs, downstairs, all over the house in the morning, in the evening, in the bath, or around the bath, in the bath. This is Twilight Woods. Now I have the body butter, which is now discontinued, and I have the shower gel. I actually prefer the scent of this over the other two, and I know the scents will, uh, even though they're the same fragrance, this, uh, the scent will obviously slightly differ because of what's in the, the thing. Like the shower gel one is, it is quite musky, and it has that same sort of base scent to it but it's more of a bubble gummy toilet woods like a sweeter one oh, this is just so nice and the um the body butter i mean, wish they hadn't discontinued them it's so nice it's so they're so creamy and velvety that is quite a little bit deeper than this but this is just a perfect blend of it now how do they describe it a uh, blend of apricot nectar I love apricot nectar, you can buy them. The tins, the mimosa petals and Tuscan cypress, inspired by the enticing warmth of woods at twilight. And it really is a deep, whoa. <laughs> now I had to write some notes on this. So it makes me think of warm nights, you know, I'm not say running around the woods, but it's that deep sort of woody scent. Sweet, it's like a sweet, deep cologne. I think this smells much better burning. Like it smells great cold in the jar. Well, once you start to burn it in about, 20 minutes, half an hour, I can really smell it in the room. And, and after a good hour, if you just sort of leave it burning, sometimes I'll just put it out in the hallway. Obviously, if my son's already asleep, or he's, he's not awake, or he's um, out, it'll literally fill downstairs and upstairs in about an hour, hour and a half, hour and a 20 minutes, literally. I can smell it everywhere, and it's just beautiful. But it smells much better, I think, burning. Um, but so, yeah, it's like a sweet, deep cologne. A sweet deep cologne. Whoa. But yeah, be absolutely delicious. Like it's one of those ones that you, ooh, it's beautiful. But yeah, definitely one for any time of the day I find for me. But it's like more of the, the along the, the male sort of cologne type scents, but it's quite a sweet, musky scent. Oh, delicious. <laughs> And I have forgotten one out of all of that. Um, and what I say is, oh, I've also been starting to enjoy my Kringle candles um, that I hoard, and I'll put a link down below to that as well, and I'll, I'll do a, a separate one on that. But I have Oceanside, I've forgotten Oceanside. Um, I have to 
to go and find where I put it. Because it's one that I think I've been burning around the bathroom and literally everywhere. It's in a mason jar. And oh, before I forget, these big three wick candles burns approximately 25 to 45 hours and you get 14.5 ounces or 411 grams. And actually, I should check the website. This one, um, this one will linger. The Island Margarita, the Mahogany Teakwood, and the Fresh Balsam will just linger, but beautiful. It's not like, you know, sometimes when you do some scents and it's just like after a little while, it's like, leaves a weird, sour. Yeah, th th these are nice to me. I'll go find Oceanside. Ta da! Oceanside. And I just love the little picture. On it. So I think a lot of them, I'm just going to leave a little picture on if I can when I clean them out. And it's got the cute little, obviously, screw top. So whereas our margarita has that, and it's just the blue one on the ocean side. Now this is described as a blend of sun wiping citrus, juicy melon, and refreshing ocean air. Now on my notes. <laughs> it actually kind of reminds me of mahogany teakwood, but I'd say... Oceanside kind of reminds me of Mahogany Teakwood and that sort of male cologne, deeper sort of scent. But this one I'd say is, oh, what did I, I write? I was making notes as I was burning. This one's cooler, I would say, and it's like very similar to this one, but I think this is warmer. But it's, it's like that cologne type scent, but this has like grass notes to it, like fresh cut grass. It's a little bit crisper, I find a little bit sharper. Oh yeah, it's kind of like if you mix mahogany teakwood with fresh balsam, and I've have, I have like I said, I've burnt them together. It's kind of like Oceanside. This is much, sort of, I think, gentler, warmer, but they're very similar. Like smelling in in the jar, and I think sort of burning them. But I do I like I love both of them. But I think Oceanside, I find any time of the day. Even my husband likes this one. He's actually um complimented at all you know when he remarked on it um which is unique for him you know it's, but yeah it's kind of like if you merged the sort of grassy wet grassy notes and the, the um pine needles with this beautiful uh, mahogany teak wood um you would get oceanside this isn't as strong as burning these two, two together because fresh balsam is quite sharp i think but it has that sharpness Gosh, I hope that makes sense. But um, yeah, I absolutely adore this one. So this is one, once I finish it, or even when I get halfway through it, I'm gonna get the three wick in Oceanside. I love it that much. But I think it's great because if my husband likes it, then that's a good thing. And you know, I can't just burn things around, burn um, candles that are gonna scent the house out that he doesn't like too. Because they kind of linger. Like if I'll do this sort of in the afternoon, it'll still be lingering when he gets home, anything like that, the scent. And like Twilight Woods is good too, so. I love it. So that is all of the candles. So please leave me feedback down below which ones you like, sort of how you would describe them. Um, anything I've left, left out like, you know, sizes or burn time or anything, I'll put it all down below because I know I get carried away describing things. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you to everyone that's been giving me suggestions of what to try um, from there as well. So take care.